What's interesting about this matchup is the official is Eddie Arango. That is the man who Chelsea Green blamed for what she called a slow count last week in their matchup. Well, Chelsea and Piper were the former tag champs. They lost them to Carter and Chance. They lost the rematch, and now Chelsea has been demanding a rematch rematch and it really doesn't work like that you got to earn it this time and now piper niven the powerhouse look at her just powering indy hartwell up yeah in all shoulder nice. breaker indy hartwell bit of a powerhouse in her own right just got completely dominated there by piper niven who has taken it completely to indy hartwell and candace lorraine in the early goings and candace blasted off the apron and a tag made by Chelsea Green. Chelsea and Piper, the former women's tag team champions, before they lost the gold to Kaylee Carter and Katana Chance. Cover now by Green. Hook of the leg and a kick out by Indy Hartwell. I'm going to tell you, I thought Niven would have been completely done with Chelsea Green after last week's loss. Perhaps yeah. over time she's now starting to warm to Chelsea. Yeah, you know, I've noticed, especially when they spent some time with us on commentary, Wade, that it seems like Chelsea's grown on Piper a bit. That is absolutely bad. Oh! And Chelsea Green now dragging Indy out to the apron and now down to the floor. And Green missed, and Indy Hartwell now face first goes Chelsea Green. Finally, Indy Hartwell getting out the blocks on this one and making it count. And again, the winning team in this matchup would hope to one time gain an opportunity at the women's tag titles. Match happens this coming Friday night on SmackDown. The champs, Carter and Chance, will defend against Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Two respective powerhouses of their teams back in the ring. Oh! Once again, there's just no answer to the strength of Piper Niven. And Piper now with Indy Hartwell hitting the turnbuckle hard. Piper going to climb up to the second rope. Ask Chelsea how this feels. Oh, nobody home! Yeah, smart move there by Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, who's not been involved in this matchup at all, might get her opportunity as the tag champs. Carter and Chance look on. And now uh, Candice LeRae and up the tag, going after the much bigger Piper Niven, trying to use her quickness now to take down the powerhouse. Nice step up in Zaguri by Candice LeRae. It's done Piper. LeRae, a 20-year oh. veteran of this industry at every level imaginable. A couple step-up sentons by Candice LeRae, and oh! Codebreaker delivered that time to Chelsea Green. Tag made, here comes Indy Hartwell. Got the upper hand, now you're gonna make it count. Double team coming. Covered by Hartwell. Hook of the leg, Chelsea Green breaking things up. And this will break him down in a hurry, and that limb length of Chelsea Green coming in handy. Ooh, spine buster. And now Piper back to her feet. And Piper the spinning slam. What a difference maker Piper Niven is. Tag. Hey. Went for the cross body. Nobody home as Hartwell moved out of harm's way. Andy Hartwell's had to be nimble today to try and compete with that power Chelsea, of Piper Niven. Chelsea Green's legal, going for the unprettier. However, she does not realize that Candice LeRae is the legal person on her team. And Candice off the second rope. Assisted Lion Salt. And the win. Here are your winners, Indy Hartwell and Candice Murray! It's one of those chaotic endings to a match of you will see a confusing pinning predicament. But once again, I'm sure Chelsea Green is going to be rather unhappy with this referee. But ultimately, LeRae and Hartwell score the victory. Big dub with potential championship implications.